Hey guys, this is Trent from My Planet PlayStation, your trusted PlayStation source. Today we're going to be looking at Farming Simulator 19, which is also available on the Xbox One and PC. And just like its predecessors, it does have a few new features in it, which are horseback riding and horses to breed, oats and cotton. And because of the cotton, you also get new uh, equipment, which is the cotton picker, the cotton technology, which you will see later. This is my first farming simulator game I've actually ever played, and I fell in love with it. I lost so much time into it, playing it with my buddy, hopping on a farm. There's multiplayer, so you can start up a new farm. You can have up to six people. Just uh, that's it, it's all so awesome. You get so much done. Right there, like my buddy's over there picking it with that new cotton picker, and I'm over here plowing. The detail in this game, when it comes to the graphics, the sounds, and the way the equipment works, and just it, it is so in detail. There's, there's no other game I've ever played like simulation-wise that was like this. And I never thought I would actually get lost into it like I did. And for those of you who actually don't know about the games... It is a series developed by Giant Software, and the locations are usually in Europe or America, and there have been games on multiple consoles, PS3, PS4, PS Vita, Switch, I mean, it, they've been around since 2008, and on every console since then, and right here you're going to hear the, the sounds of it attaching. And it, it's like it, when it unfolds, you'll hear it, and it, it's just so in detail. And I would suggest also taking the tutorials and the guided tours before starting because it will show you exactly what to do with the land, what type of land it needs, what type of crop it needs. Um, it, it's just like right there. I, I, this was so awesome just being able to pull up and pour the grain over. The other new feature in this game, which a lot of people were excited about, was the fact that there was a John Deere uh, brand in here now. And I'm not a farmer, but I think we all know who John Deere is and what John Deere is. And it was pretty awesome to uh, be able to buy all that stuff, but I would not suggest buying it because you will not have enough money. <laughs> I, I made that mistake. I, I bought all that equipment and didn't end very well had to restart and there's also three different difficulties that you can start at you can start as a new farmer which gives you money land and equipment the farm manager gives you a substantial amount of money but no land and no equipment and the start from scratch option is an option that I did not try but from what it says it doesn't sound like it's gonna be fun the economy's low and it's hard to grow crops, and no, I'm, I'm not all about that. And this is also what I mean by detail, is when you open up the map, it will show you what type of crop is in each section, what growth it's at, if it needs to be fertilized, if it needs to be harvested, if it needs any anything, just to the littlest detail. The map is also where you have to buy your land, and it will help you navigate through the map the only downfall that I have found in this game on my part was the fact that when you go to buy equipment, you got to drive all the way to the shop and then bring it all the way back. You can pay somebody to deliver it to you, but then you won't, you're losing money so much. So you're spending a lot of time going and getting the equipment and then doing the harvesting and the seeding and all the stuff that you need to do. And the one thing that PS4 also got, which is right here, is mods. PC usually are the only ones that get cool mods, but I'm sure they have a lot better ones. We got some, and they also gave us a map which takes place in South America, and I have yet to try that map. But the last thing I really want to give another appraisal for is, again, the detail. Just being able to attach, detach the equipment, unfold it, unload it. It's just so in detail. Having to lower the plow, and whenever you go to another piece of land, if it's not your land, you have to raise it. It's just...
the detail they put into this game, it deserves a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Even for a gamer that does not play simulation games too much, I, I have to give it that one. It deserves it. I hope you guys liked our video. Like and subscribe to our channel if you did. Have a good day.